All right, I'm going to attempt to uh, list all of the steel that's in the scooter, starting with the, uh, the front end. Okay, so the very front is these rockers, and I'm on this one. I use three quarter inch by looks like about two. Yeah, two inches by this one is six inches long, and that's the rocker itself. The bale is uh, the same material as the front end, which is three quarter inch solid cold rolled steel. Um, you should pick up. If you don't have, uh, pick up some tab material, which is like uh, 3 sixteens or so um, material for, for these straps. And there's other places where you have tabs that you need. Um, okay. Uh, you'll need tabs, a little bit of tab material up here. This is like quarter inch by um, whatever that is. What the hell is that? An uh, inch and a half. Um, these are made to fit or you know made to suit you but they need to be fairly heavy duty to hold that top of that shock in okay the bottom mounts on this particular one we wound up with 16 inches between the two of them and it's half inch by one inch half inch thick by one inch wide uh, strap material okay the front end itself um, you need a 20 foot stick of uh, 3 quarter inch solid cold rolled steel. Okay. The upper straps I generally buy 16 inches and then they're each they're all cut down to whatever they need to be. When you build a scooter these are cut to to whatever they're supposed to be. Um, I can't tell you because I didn't you know each scooter might be a little different. Um, when you cut these straps, you want them. You want it so that front end is close, but not touching the triple trees. Um, you always do this bottom strap first, and then set it, set the pad point, get the front end exact angle that you want, and then you measure and measure and drill the top straps. Okay, triple trees are this set of triple trees is three inches by one inch by exactly seven inches wide okay that is the overall width of the front end um, the center piece on this part of the front end this particular one is inch and a quarter solid stock seven inches and this one up here is one inch this one here is one inch um, by seven inches you have to make sure that that this piece and this piece are the exact same width as your triple trees. All, all of those pieces have to be the exact same width. Um, there's, another, there's a little more tab material. The handlebars are included in that 20 foot um, that you bought for the front end. Okay. These bearings, uh, well we use a one inch bolt and if I'm not mistaken it is uh, 11 inches long. It's 11 inches long. The bearings in here are Timken 07100 and 07204. That's the cup and cone uh, race and bearings. Okay. You'll need uh, some plate, some plate steel, enough plate steel to do a couple of these straps. And I use, you know, three, three sixteens or. Um, is usually good. This material here is uh, inch. It happens to be inch and three quarters by. Uh, it looks like about 16 inches long each one, and uh, you can either buy that material, or like me, I get these from um, old style garage door openers, the kind with the springs on the sides. This is some great steel. It's free. And uh, it's really, really good steel. I've been using this stuff for many, many years, 30 years. Excellent, excellent material. Okay, you'll need some tubing, um, less than a foot of tubing that goes over um, the uh, shaft in the center. So it needs to be a nice, close fit. And these tubes are welded on each side of this pedal, 
and then it's split in the middle and then welded on each side of that pedal so that your uh, your pedals go in and out on the shaft there more tab material here okay now we go to the frame itself the bottom pipe schedule 40 plain black pipe nothing fancy no tubing I use uh, I buy um, a 20 foot stick and that gives me enough for the tube the frame tubes themselves the frame rails and a couple of cross members there's one here and there's one one more there's another cross member back there okay um, you'll need some a little bit of sheet metal not too much um, this scooter for the uh, dash and I use 16 gauge um, you don't need a heck of a lot of it you know just some pieces enough for the dash and uh, this large um, gusset here this plate gusset here it's not plate it's it's uh, 16 gauge then the belly pan itself if you run a pan um, you'll need um, depending on the design in the back and whether or not you run a full pan uh, usually uh, a little more than half of a sheet maybe three quarters of a sheet a four by eight sheet will do the do all your sheet metal work there 16 gauge um, I use foot um, railroad spikes as foot pegs because they're free and uh, they don't cost nothing the uh, belly pan liner is half inch solid stock cold roll solid stock you could use hot roll but I use cold roll it's cleaner okay that's for the liner that stiffens it up uh, a couple of you have to attach this here so the belly pan is attached this particular one is some strap material that I got just some small stuff and there's straps there so you need some of that material um, there's lots of tabs throughout the scooter these actually these two tabs came off of uh, the hot wheel because I always put something from a previous trike build onto each new trike so there's a line a continuous line of, of scooters okay now the shifter uh, you'll need some plate this is the same plate that you use for the master cylinder plate and then the uh, shifter plate and it looks like 3 16 or so and it needs to be about that big so that you can accommodate your shifter now this piece here is a piece of tubing that goes inside of another piece of tubing it's kind of hard you got to get a nice close fit and it goes back there okay you need some angle iron um, I just use bed bed rail for the frame of the uh, battery box back here you need more tab material this is inch by uh, 3 16 I think um, and then two pieces a couple pieces down there so that uh, your, your shifter piece goes in there there's more tab material more tab material all right the top the top rail of the frame is one inch and uh, this one is two one inch you need a 20-foot stick actually you need about 30 feet of uh, the one inch material because you're not only doing the top frame you're also doing the rear cage and your rear cage was going to look a little different because every one of them is individually styled but this is the basic rear cage and it's one inch material and uh, let's see 14 yeah 30 feet maybe a little more than 30 feet uh, I would be safe I would be safe if I bought four, two 20 foot sticks 40 foot this particular trike has trays that are just angle iron and then there's a flat piece that goes in there and there's another tray up there this is completely whatever design you want for your scooter um, you may want a nice heavy piece for your uh, trailer hitch back here a little small piece of of uh, sheet metal for your license plate light um, there's a couple of pieces of angle iron down there uh, that's the lower mount for the rear cage is the two pieces of angle iron are just butt up against each other 
and uh, your seats, two seats require um, a 20 foot stick for two standard seats. A 3, 6, 9, 12, 12 feet is the rails and the rest of it is taken up in the cross members that go across there. The cross pieces go across. You'll need some sheet metal. I usually use uh, a galvanized, uh, you know, like 18 gauge is plenty heavy enough. Um, sheet metal for that. Prop rivets, hold that all together. Uh, you'll need some material. Um, this particular one I used, I found some uh, 3 8 round stock that we were able to uh, get into a nice shape. Um, you can use whatever material you have. I've done some in round, square, hex, you know, whatever material you like. That's a style point. And that's it. That's, uh, that's all the materials that I can think of that go into it. There's always a few little odds and ends, um, but that's it.